old appliances could be costing you money and using more energy to run. Here are some things to look out for, which could mean it's either time to repair or upgrade. When you take your clothes out of the washing machine, they should be wet, but not soaking wet. This is because of the fast spin at the end of the cycle. If you're left with wet, heavy clothes in your washing machine, this may mean the fast spin has stopped working. This could happen because of a couple of reasons. The first one being a pressure system fault. The spin cycle starts when the pressure sensor shows that the water has drained. If there is a fault or a blockage, this can stop the sensor from working. Another reason could be a worn motor, which stops it reaching the speed it needs for the fast spin. If your clothes are not only wet, but the drum is also full of water, this could be a problem with the pump filter. This filter is supposed to stop coins and pieces of material from blocking your machine. Simple blockages of the drain hose or the U-bend beneath the sink are far more simple to fix. It's hard to relax as a family or concentrate on other things when a noisy washing machine is causing a disturbance. The faster your drum is spinning, the more noisy and unbalanced your machine will be. The noise is even greater when something gets caught in the machine or due to an unbalanced load. For example, washing a towel with two t-shirts or any other combination of light and heavy fabrics. But it could also be a sign that there's a problem with the bearings. How to check your bearings. Turn the washing machine drum by hand when it's empty and not in use. If it feels like you're pushing against something, then you may have a problem. If your fridge has condensation, something's likely not right. All refrigerators have to work to maintain a gentle balance between hot and cold, but they shouldn't be working so hard at their sweat droplets outside. Same goes for condensation inside the fridge, or frost in the freezer or on the exterior of the freezer door. However, this could well be a very minor problem. First, check the rubber seal around the door. You can close the door on a piece of paper. If it slips out easily, you can try replacing the gasket yourself. If that doesn't fix the condensation inside of the fridge or the paper has drag when you pull it out, have one of our local appliance experts come out and take a look before you give the fridge the boot. Your fridge's motor shouldn't always be running at max speed and you shouldn't be able to hear it. That's because for most part, there's just no need for it to regulate and re-regulate the temperature unless the door is constantly being opened and closed. If your motor's always going and going, you should have someone come and have a look at it. Keep a feel out for excessive heat coming from your fridge. Yes, you'll always feel some heat coming from the back of your fridge, and that's only really natural. It just means the ventilation system is working. But because the core should be insulated, an excessive amount of heat it is unusual. If this is the case with your fridge, let us know and we can see if you need new coils or if there is a bigger issue at hand. If your cooking isn't coming out quite right, it might not be you. Over time, different components of your oven can wear out or break, causing fluctuations in temperature which can affect your cooking. This could be because the oven is no longer able to regulate temperature. This could mean the thermostat needs replacing. It could also be that heat is escaping from the oven. Check the seals around the doors for wear and tear. If your gas oven isn't lighting automatically, you may have a problem with your pilot lights. Look out for the following to see if you have a problem. A broken switch, meaning you may need to light manually, a yellowy orange flame instead of a blue one, which may indicate lack of oxygen, or having to relight the pilot lights because it keeps going out. If when you're cooking, your counters are getting hot and you're noticing some scorch marks, it could be because there's not enough space between the oven and the cupboard, or it could mean that the seals need replacing on the oven and heat is escaping. Make sure to check the seals for wear and tear and if you need to replace them. If additionally the oven door or knobs are overheating, this could be because the cooling fan has stopped working.